for in practice. So. Hello everybody, uh, it's Alistair Lum here from 7magpies.com. Um, just a quick uh, t tip on using Photoshop uh, layers to rotate objects and uh, where they actually would rotate ar around. Uh, I came across this the other ni the night while I was trying to work on a very simple animation for one of our uh, introductions to one of our movies. A um, couple of things, first of all this is in Photoshop Elements, uh, Element 6, so it should work on basically any, th any version of uh, Photoshop. Uh, and the other thing is, because it is uh, Photoshop Elements, you know, please you guys who are gurus and everything, please don't give me a hard time over it. It's a quick and dirty technique for moving stuff around, and I'm sure if you've got Creative Suite, you know, this sort of stuff is a doddle. The other thing is, is uh, when I actually searched online to actually find out uh, how to do this, there was no uh, tutorials or videos which immediately sprang up in Google to say, you know, this is the way to do it. Um, so what are we trying to do? Well, first of all, it's just basically, we've got some images here, as you can see. We're just getting them to rotate around a, a, a central point. Now, um, it's kind of like, you know, the old flip boards. What we basically do is we have a lot of images, and in each image, um, the thing is slightly rotated a bit, so you can see that that's just scrolling through the images and the thing actually gradually rotates and looks like the birds are rotating. As I say, it's nothing flash. The the um, images themselves aren't actually animated. They're just actually animated by the fact that they're moving in space rather than the fact that they're individually animated. So um, without further ado, we'll get on and just show you some of this. Um, right, nip into Photoshop. Um, right, uh, open an image open and uh, we're looking for we're going to do it with just the one one magpie because i think that it's 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 easier to illustrate the technique with that so first of all i'm going to just show you something which again kind of irritates me with photoshop and it's not immediately obvious um here we've got our little one magpie by himself now ideally with him we we would like him to be flying along on a, a transparent background at the moment he's on a white background and that doesn't mean it's transparent it's, uh, so what he actually needs is an alpha channel in there. Now uh, I'll just quickly show you. If you if you grab hold of the magic wand tool and you zap it in here, you see that it very nicely sort of selects around the outside. Okay, a bit messy around the wings, but we're not really bothered about that at the moment. If you press the delete key, it just yeah, it deletes it. But you don't have the alpha. You don't have the checkerboard there to show you that it's um that is actually an alpha board, so we'll just, we'll just go back to our original version. Now I'll just uh, quickly show you actually how to get out of that, how to get it to do that without messing you around. So uh, there's our image. We, there's two different ways. First of all, there's you can go on to and produce a, what's called a layer from background. And it just comes through, group with previous layer, and just press OK. Now the really neat thing is now if you select your one tool and you press Zonk, Again, similar thing. You press now. Now you actually see that we have an alpha channel in there, and you would then save this basically as um, as a Photoshop file. Or I find if you do it with the, I think it's a PNG file. Uh, or you know, it'll import very nicely into your movie editor. And the good thing about it, because it's transparent, you don't get a cube, a square, moving around. You actually just get the bird as such, and he actually. The, the background ret retains in place rather than it actually blocking out anything that you, you might want to leave in the background. Got that. Anyway, I'm not going to use that one because it's a bit messy. Um, so here's one I prepared earlier. No, we're not really bothered about that. True. To open up another file. So we'll go to this one, which is actually one I prepared earlier with a transparent background. Now um, you can see uh, he's a bit tidier. But obviously we're not going to be able to rotate him much because he's a bit small. So I'll just select the Select tool. And we'll control N to open a new file. New files, uh, we're going to make it 800. This is just basically a background for the thing to fly around on. 800 by 800, nice square thing. And again, notice it's got transparent background. So background contents is transparent. Okay, so there's our, our, our file. Uh, now, let's just, uh, press control minus and then stretch the window out a bit and just get a board around that so I can actually see. Yeah, that's much better. So we grab him and basically move him into here. Uh, there he is. And oh, it's very interesting. He's come in the centre, but no, we're going to put him up the top here. Because so what we want to is again him to fly around in a sort of circular path here. So um, yeah, close that now. So 
so we've got our new bird now so if we gra drag first of all the first thing is to actually drag this layer and put it on the bottom so that layers on the bottom now obviously we don't want to move this particular one we want to well we do want to move him but we want to leave a copy so we'll just copy that so we'll just duplicate that layer it's okay now we've got our original thing and magpie one copy again now if we you can see that we've now got two of them with one underneath again not quite what we wanted because what we're actually trying to do is rotate him but move him round a bit you see what i mean so that he sort of goes round like that and you know it's you could probably make a good guess at it but it's never going to be perfect and it's not particularly uh what's the word <laughs> you know we can do better so i'll put no so we basically got, again got the two layers now the the really neat thing is if we actually go into the background layer here which is layer one not a buy if we put a large object in there which is larger than the page and we rotate that around that large object it will in effect rotate it around the center of the screen here's going so what we basically do is pick up we'll put a nice so we'll put a, a rectangle which is okay fair enough and uh, we'll put him here now I'm not 100% sure about this so what I normally do is just put it and make it reasonably uniform all the way around uh, that's good enough I suppose very good and we now have, can't see anything but it doesn't really matter because now we've got that that square there but we've just made him we just turned off the visibility up so we can still see our own now the good thing is here's our bird and if we take our pick tool again you can see the bounding box just around the big bird but what we do is to link it to this original layer we press the shift key down and click on that as well and now you notice our bounding box here is down the bottom and the center of rotation is here in the center of the picture so we just basically rotate it like that and that's rather neat um, now before we just press that click button there the good thing is is that you can actually move it around in a set increment and that's set here and you see it's set, actually set at 30.8 degrees well if we're going to do 12 frames which is I suppose pretty standard um, we'd want it at 30 so we just put 30 in and Bobby Bingo there he is he's moved on his transparent background um, and yeah we're happy with that so we just press the plus key okay and of course the good thing is you just click on that one and duplicate that layer again duplicate the layer and press ok and again link it to the layer above and just disappearing off the bottom of the screen there let's just make this box a bit bigger and then we can actually see it just disappearing off the bottom is that thing and we just drag it again and move it 30 degrees and the good thing is as you can see that they're, they're consistently going around now so so that's basically it um, that's my basic tip um, and you basically go around and just put in your 12 images all the way around um, when you're finished and you've got all 12 in what you basically do is grab all the top box get rid of that so you're not bothered about it uh, not that it makes a huge quantity of difference to the saving press escape a couple of times and now what you what you're trying to do here is because you just want the one bird because you want to see the one bird moving what you basically do is just make the one bird visible and you want to save that file as a png file and then you get rid of that one and make the next one visible and save that as another png file so you sequentially save them so it'd be i don't know bird one bird slash one one bird slash two or, or one bird slash zero one bird slash 30 degrees one bird because you know of course the you can rotate more than one object obviously you just basically by doing this technique you could put several birds all the way around so you'd end up with i don't know six or maybe seven birds all the way around and then you can then rotate all of those birds you flatten the file down so you've got all the birds in one thing and then you rotate those around a separate object Anyway, so that's my little tip. I uh, hope you enjoy it and I uh, hope it's uh, useful to you and uh, just enjoy your photo editing.